Tara, it's Laura. Hey, found this one on the back burn. Reckon if I clean it up, might fetch a few quid. Thanks, Mark. Hey, this was your dad's. All oh, right. Well, I'm sure he'd want you to sell it. It rests at stuff. It's not going to do him much good in a bar and a beef, is it? <laughs> is he happy out there? Yeah. Seems to be. Well, maybe you got out at the right time. It's hard to scrape a living from the land these days. Sometimes I wonder why I keep trying. Because it's in your blood. Well, I'm really grateful to you lads for helping me out. Mm, at least we can do. How much do you need to raise, anyway? As much as I can. I mean, I'm dreading the legal bills coming in, but if that's what it takes to get custody of my kids, I'm going to have to go through with it. Busy? Yeah, well, you can grab a brush and help me scrub if you want. I was hoping we could get together in the holidays, but I suppose you'd be working up here. I don't know, I haven't made any plans yet. You do still want to see me. Go out with me, don't you, Mark? Yeah, of course I do. I've just got a lot of things on my mind. I mean, I'm only working part-time at the Woolly, and I'm just helping Jack out. And neither of them are proper jobs. And I've got my parents on at me to resit my exams. Is that what you want? Well, exams aren't that important, you know. Look, look at Roy. He's got a partner in his own business now. You don't seem to be making him very happy. Caught him and Scott having a right bust up the other night. I know something's going on. It's like when Kelly tried to kill herself. I treat me like a kid, they don't tell me anything. You asked Roy? Not yet. But well, you're probably making a mountain out of a molehill. But Roy's a decent bloke, he'll tell you. You could have killed Scott, you know. Look, it, it what happened again? I lost my temper. I'm sorry. Everyone's pretending it didn't happen at all. They won't talk to me about it. It's for the best. Now you're treating me like a child too. It's not fair. I know something's going on. I know you're hiding something. Please, Roy. I've got a right to know. OK. Look, just not here, OK? I've got to help Jack. This sale means a lot to him. Pop by to the cottage later. I'll have a chat with you. All right, Jack. Oh, no, not really. I hate having to sell all this stuff, but I need the money. Yeah, I suppose if it gets to divorce, you're going to need money for lawyers, aren't you? I will if I want to keep me kids. Nah, well, I wish you the best of luck. Can't say I've had much faith in law since I got sent down. No, me neither. But I might not have any other options. Right, then. Let's get this sale moving. What do you want to do? Well, there's still some heavy stuff in the back barn. Mark will need a hand shift in that. Right, mate. Do you think I should make a compensation claim for me and Victoria? Eh? Well, the Tate should pay somehow. And the money would help us start up a new life. Me and Chris are going into business together. How's he going to feel if you're suing him? I want to have my kids around me. We need to have a bigger place. Yeah, and when the business takes off, I'll be earning enough money to afford one. Let's not do anything to jeopardise that. OK. I won't go for compensation as long as I'm sure you really want the kids. I don't know how important it is to you. There's room for Victoria here now. She could move in when they got back from Spain. Jack might have a few things to say. A girl of that age should be with her mother. Anyone can see that. And I'm sure he can, if we let the dust settle. Look, everything's going to be just how you want it. We just need to be patient a little longer, that's all. <laughs> 